Hi everyone, welcome back to AFC Action Figure Captures. In today's video, I'm sorry about the messy looking box there, I just didn't want to make sure, or sorry, I wanted to make sure that uh, nobody's personal information was being shown on the packaging, but I'm doing something a little different. I have never done this before where I've actually uh, decided to open a package on camera, but um, I was lucky enough uh, to have an incredible customizer by the name of Figurehead uh, send me a kind of surprise loop package of some action figures uh, for having done some work together on some of his custom figures and doing some of the photo edits of his figures as of late. And uh, he was nice enough to decide that he wanted to send me some figures for having done it. And he knew I was into the G.I. Joe classified figures line and so he decided to pack up some extra figures that he had laying around and to send them to me. And there was a few figures that I wasn't able to pick up here. Uh, guys like uh, Beachhead and um, the Viper, uh, the Cobra Viper and a few other guys and he knew I hadn't had the chance to pick them up and he offered to send those to me but he also mentioned that he wanted to send uh, a surprise or two in the package as well and so I thought okay well in that case I'll wait and I'll open the package on camera just so everyone can kind of see what we got and uh, I want to thank him again he is probably one of the best customizers I've seen and he does everything from action figures from all kinds of lines and he comes up with, with some really incredible characters on his own and he does homages to a lot of the characters as well from series like G.I. Joe and a number of other series but he also does some really incredible uh, like custom made vehicles and he just did the Punisher car recently and he did uh, Zartan 2's motorcycle as well as the Doom cycle as well uh, he, he did some really amazing work make sure to check out his page figurehead uh, on Instagram uh, F-I-G-U-R underscore H-E-A-D uh, on Instagram and you can also check out his YouTube channel as well and he actually teaches uh, a bit of customization on his YouTube channel and he does some fun videos and everything with his uh, his son Toy Man as well so make sure to check out his, his pages and his channel and everything as well with that said uh, let's jump in Let's see what we got. Probably should have picked a better knife for this. I could have done this part off camera as well. <laughs> okay, so first we see a really nice large G.I. Joe action figure box. Uh, let's take a look and see what this guy is. So of course we have the artwork and let's slip this guy out. Hopefully without damaging anything. Oh, that's incredible. I uh, have really wanted to buy this guy and haven't actually had the chance. But we have the Snake Eyes and Timber figure, which uh, I really wanted to pick up and I just never had the chance. It took a while to make it here to Canada. And uh, by the time it came out, I really just didn't have the funds at the time to pick him up. I know he's fairly affordable, but uh, the other things had come up and I wasn't able to buy him. So I am thrilled to finally have this guy and he looks great. I've so been looking forward to getting this guy and taking photographs of him. And thanks again to Figurehead, I now have the chance to do so. There we are. Okay, next. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. Wow, look at this thing. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, I was not expecting this at all. I want to say this is actually a figurehead custom, and this is actually my first figurehead custom that I've had in person. I think this might have been one of the ones he wanted. He probably would have wanted me to open last. But let's take a look at this guy. I'm going to have to ask Figurehead for his name. But here we have a, by the looks of it, a custom ninja with his accessories. He's got a pair of claws here. They look pretty incredible. And then here we have, 
what looks like a red and black sort of storm shadow. So it's a custom black and red ninja. He's got an amazing set of weaponry. He's got the sword. Oh, that looks incredible. That uh, the details on the belt and everything as well. That looks amazing. I'm sorry if you guys aren't able to see this that well. Let me see if I can put them closer to the lighting and move the camera in a little bit here. Forgive the noise, guys. This guy looks amazing. Holy cow. So, he has a staff. And he's got a set of blades and everything as well. It'll snap onto his wrists. And he has two of the of the blades and the staff of course and he's got a couple of katanas on his back by the looks of it i'm gonna have to play with him a little bit and get him to stand up and we're gonna do some nice photographs and some nice edits of this guy but that looks amazing look at that guys wow that is a really nice looking figure sorry for the noise on the camera guys i'm not used to uh doing these live videos this way but he looks incredible he's got his cobra symbol on his chest he's got what look like crazy looking red eyes they look amazing and then uh, he's got a nice wash on the suit. It's like basically got multiple layers of color of uh, grays and blacks all over the suit. And he looks incredible. So I am going to love taking some photographs of this guy. He looks incredible. So I think that was meant to be the big reveal and I went and screwed it up by picking him first. I just saw the bright red boots and uh, decided to look at him first, but that looks incredible guys. Wow okay so let's keep going so that i can get around to getting some shots of these guys for us so once again we have this guy next we have something big here in the back let's grab this guy next and get that out of the way oh wow okay so he actually sent me i i just recently uh, parted with my Baroness and foil cycle because of the fact that I was trying to get a hold of some of the gargoyles figures by NECA and thankfully a friend of the channel uh, by the name of Will uh, decided to uh, pick up Bronx for me and so I sent him my Baroness uh, with the cycle and thankfully figurehead was nice enough to send the foil back uh, and I'm gonna take a wild guess and hopefully think that I might have a Baroness back as well, which would be great. So next we have a huge bag of figures here. Oh wow, look at that guys. Wow, we've got all kinds of G.I. Joe in there. We've got Baroness, like I was hoping. We've got Major Blood, we've got a Viper, we've got Beachhead. We've got some Cobra Troopers. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, well it looks like three Cobra Troopers. That's really cool. Okay, so yes, we do have Cobra Trooper. I've never actually had this particular one. Uh, I'm not even sure this is actually a custom by the looks of it, possibly, because it looks like it's got the Major Blood style gauntlets. So this guy may have been customized as well, by the looks of it, he has been, because I've never seen this particular version of the figure. But we have a Cobra Soldier there. I believe all the accessories are going to be in this bag, guys. I'm just I'm not going to go into uh, digging out all the accessories and everything, but um, we do have Major Blood here, which is really cool. I, I lost him in another trade, so it's great to have him back as well. So I'm really grateful to get him back. This is one of the guys I hunted for for a while. I had a really hard time getting a hold of him. And uh, finally was able to pick him up through Amazon, but love the idea of having an additional one because uh, I really like the character a lot, and that is Heavy Artillery Roadblock. So we have another copy of him with his uh, giant Gatling guns. So it's really cool to have him as well. And he was nice enough to send a Baroness. So we do have the Baroness as well. And she looks great as always. So we have Baroness in her cycle again. So that's terrific pretty amazing now these are a couple of guys I was never able to get a hold of up here either um, because they were pretty rare initially and like Toys R Us and everything up here didn't get them in uh, for the longest time and I, I really never actually saw this guy in the wild especially this guy in particular but we do have the Cobra Viper 
who I actually never had the chance to pick up, and it'll be great to be able to shoot him because I've never had the chance to even see him in person until now either. So it's great to see this guy. And next we have another one that I wasn't able to find here as well, and then when I finally saw him in store, uh, it was again at that, that time where I wasn't uh, <laughs> prepared to pick him up, and I missed out on him. So thankfully Figurehead was good enough to send him to me. And that is Beachhead. And he is a blue-eyed variant. I think there's two variants. This is the blue-eyed one. And so we have Beachhead finally as well. So that's great to see as well and great to have him as well. And I'll get some pictures of these guys up as well once I get the chance. And finally we have another Cobra Soldier. So I believe we have the Cobra Soldier, which I've never had, and then there's the Officer, which was this guy here. And uh, it's great to have him as well. So that's amazing. That's a lot of figures, and I'm loving that uh, red and black ninja there. I've got to get his name from Figurehead, and once I get some shots together, I'm definitely going to be posting everything. And I'll be taking shots of all the figures, and I'll splice them in the video as well. And you guys can see exactly what we got and everything as well. So all the accessories, as I mentioned, they are actually here in the bag. So he did uh, thankfully send everything with them. So they are complete and it'll be great to just add all their accessories and take a whole bunch of shots uh, of the figures. And I am really looking forward to shooting that custom figure. That is going to be the priority because I want figure ahead to get some really nice shots of his custom work. And he does some really amazing custom work, guys. You got to be sure to check out his stuff. Okay, so from here, guys, we're going to wrap this part of the video up. And I'm going to jump into taking some photographs and doing some edits. And we'll add those to the video as well. Thanks for stopping by the channel, guys. I really hope you enjoyed what you see. Uh, be sure to check out Figurehead. He is an amazing customizer. you got to check out his work. And I believe he does do commissions. If you like what you see, make sure to reach out to him and uh, see what he can do for you if you're looking for a particular custom figure because I know he has done uh, commissions in the past and he has done some incredible work. Croc Master, uh, recently he's done quite a few. Uh, Stalker, he did Duke in the actual show colors and the Duke looked better than anything by Hasbro. It looked amazing. So be sure to check out his channel and see all the work that he's done. And he does some really great work involving like McFarlane figures and uh, League of Legends and all those things as well. Mythic Legion, sorry. Um, all of those things. You got to check out his work, guys. He's, he's incredible. Okay. I'm going to jump into the photographs and we'll get some of this stuff up ASAP. Thanks again, guys. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to the channel. And check back. We'll be posting new content as soon as we can and make sure to help uh, keep this channel moving and get some new uh, reviews and custom uh, videos up as well. Thanks a lot guys. Have a great day. Take care.